Though the Blackfeet culture is rich in history and tradition, much of it has been lost through the generations. While well, one woman and her sisters are using the power of land to restore connection to the community. Lynn Madplume has lived on the Blackfeet Reservation her whole life. Her family owns a large plot of land along the Two Medicine River. This place here, if you could imagine it, when it was first built was, you know, a lot nicer. Uh, there was people here and it was always booming and there was always kids coming to ride and there was always like uh, just multiple generations here. The land, owned for generations, has recently fallen on some hard times. We've always had horses, we've always had livestock, like we've always had that here. Um, but as we kind of lost our older generations, a lot of that fell apart. I was able to kind of see how we already have these things in place to have a land camp and a land-based healing. As part of her final project, she hopes to apply her studies and knowledge of identity into restoring her family's land for the entire community to prosper off of. We're going to create that environment where people can come in and, you know, youth can come in, anybody can come in. It can just be an environment where you're welcome again. You can hear your elders talk. You can, you know, see kids running around. You can go work with horses if you want. Um, we just see it as an opportunity to, like, heal our family and heal the land there so that everybody is welcome. Erica Madplume is Lynn's sister. She understands the importance of unifying resources on the reservation, working close with her sibling. We're missing a lot of our culture and we look in other places to fill that gap. So that's why we're suffering from all these traumas and all this today is because we're looking in other places to fill this gap in our identity that we don't have anymore. And that's what I think this will really help out with. In order to ease the costs of renovation, Lynn is set to apply for grants. However, she's willing to do what she can, with or without financial aid. Even if we don't get the grant funding, like our goal is to just start doing whatever we can because I know as a community there's enough resources and we all pitch in. We could have a kids series rodeo out there. You know, if we get that rodeo grounds uh, just operational, you know, kids can come out and they can run barrels and they can practice throughout the summer. Um, once we acquired horses, that's when our land really started to uh, like get bigger, uh, they called Blackfeet Lord of the Plains. Um, so horses have always been a really big part of our, our identity. Together, the sisters hope this dream blossoms into a renaissance. We said we could have a whole bunch of these land-based healing camps like ours in Two Medicine. Um, we have outlying communities, Hartview, um, Star School, East Glacier, Bab, like all those, and we could all come together, provide um, our own resources, like work together, and it could all be something for the whole community. From Browning, Owen Scornick Hayes, MTN News.